Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now this video is called Should You Buy a Long Wheelbase or a Short Wheelbase Van for a Camper? Because this is a topic we get asked about quite a lot and I have covered this in other videos because I really wanted to set the record straight with this because I've had a lot of people uh, put comments below uh, previous videos uh, telling me that they totally disagree with me on my opinion when it comes to short wheelbase versus uh, long wheelbase. So I'm going to go through this again in a bit more detail and then I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and get your kind of feedback on this. Now before I get into the topic of the video, I wanted to just take this time to really thank all of you that have actually subscribed to our channel. Now we only launched this channel just over three months ago and we've just passed 600 subscribers. So I really, really appreciate every one of you that has subscribed to our channel and is supporting us. And we've had some amazing feedback, we've had such great comments and emails from people saying that they really enjoy our videos and they're getting a lot of value out of them. And again, we really do appreciate your support on this channel because we're able to reach a lot more people and really help a lot more people make the right decisions when it comes to uh, getting a VW camper or having a van converted. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that because I do uh, share regular bite-sized videos covering a range of different topics, uh, answering questions that you might have about buying a VW camper van, a finish a completed camper, and also buying base vehicles to actually have converted by a conversion company. So I try and cover as many questions as I can that we get from uh, our clients and also from our subscribers. And if you've got any specific questions for me and you want me to cover anything in particular, just comment below this video and let me know and I will try and cover that in a future video. Okay, so let's get on with the topic of this video. Okay, so short wheelbase versus long wheelbase. Now this is a discussion that a lot of people have and some people absolutely love short wheelbase vans, other people love uh, the longer wheelbase van. And just like everything that I cover around VW campers, it really always boils down to your personal preference, your personal opinion, and also how you're going to be using your VW camper. So you really have to consider of both of those things when it comes to choosing long wheelbase or short wheelbase. And my personal opinion on this is that I do prefer a short wheelbase camper van and that's because I find it to be a lot more usable. It's much easier to actually live day to day with a short wheelbase van because it's a little bit smaller and it can be really used a bit like a car. So even if you aren't used to driving big vehicles and you aren't used to driving vans uh, in general, you will probably find it much easier to kind of maneuver and park and just use a short wheelbase van uh, as opposed to a long wheelbase van. But if you are used to driving vans and you are really co a really confident driver and you do want some extra space in your camper, then of course a long wheelbase could be a really good option. But my personal opinion comes from using camper vans myself, but it also comes from lots of people that we've spoken to over the last few years uh, and hearing their feedback. And most people that we speak to do prefer the short wheelbase for all those reasons that I just mentioned, and that is that it's much easier to use on a daily basis. So if you're planning to maybe sell a second car and put that money towards a VW camper, you may want to use that van or that camper as a daily driver. You may want to drive to work in it or drive to the shops in it. But a lot of people have disagreed with me on this topic, and it's probably because they do own long wheelbase vans and they much prefer it, which is absolutely fine. It really is down to personal preference. Now, obviously that increase in size in a long wheelbase van does make a difference in size. So if you're maybe planning to travel with a family with kids in the van, and you've got a lot more things to store and you need more space then a long wheelbase could be the perfect solution for you because it's going to give you that little bit of extra room inside the van itself to actually put in extra cupboard space and have more places to store things so for some people a long wheelbase is absolutely perfect for them but I feel the biggest downside to a long wheelbase really is down to kind of the daily use and the ease of use on a daily basis so if you're parking in supermarkets and you're trying to get into parking spaces on campsites and that kind of thing you are going to find it a little bit more difficult to maneuver and it does make it a little bit more difficult to kind of navigate into parking spaces and like I just said before if you're not used to driving a van and you're not a very confident driver then maybe a long wheelbase might be a little bit of a hindrance to you but again down to personal preference but in my opinion I feel that the short wheelbase van is a lot more versatile and it's a lot better uh, for daily use for most people now we've been converting VW transporters into camper vans now for nearly three years and in, during that time we've probably only converted three long wheelbase vans so as a company we very very rarely will buy a long wheelbase van to turn into a camper because we know our customers we understand what they want and most people just do not want a long wheelbase but we have probably converted two or three long wheelbase vans for other customers during that last two or three years so that gives you an idea of how kind of popular the short wheelbase van is compared to long wheelbase because we've done a lot lot less of them over the last few years but when you're actually seeing these vans in the flesh and you see, and you compare a long wheelbase van to a short wheelbase, you'll see that the long wheelbase does look quite considerably bigger. 
And of course, the other downside to a long wheelbase compared to short wheelbase is that they are going to cost more money. So the actual van itself, if you're going to buy a base vehicle to have it converted into a camper, the actual van's probably going to cost you a little bit more money. But the actual fit out, the, the, the materials that you need to convert the van are also going to be more expensive because you've got to have longer windows, you've got to have more cupboard space, uh, and everything's got to be configured for long wheelbase. So it's going to cost you a little bit more money. It's not going to massively break the bank, but it's going to be considerably more than it would be for a short wheelbase. So if you are uh, sticking to a quite a strict budget, then again, a short wheelbase might be better for you. So I'd really love to get your feedback on this. I'd love you to let me know what you think. Do you feel the short wheelbase van is better for you, or would you prefer a little bit more room and go for the long wheelbase? So I'd really love to get your feedback. So please feel free just to put a comment below. I'd love to get your feedback and we can get a conversation going. But ultimately, all of this boils down to personal preference, just like everything with VW campers. And if you've been looking into getting a camper van for a while and you've gone down that rabbit hole, you've probably uh, started to realize that there are lots of things that you do want, lots of things that you don't want. And it can become a little bit overwhelming and a little bit kind of confusing on which route to go. So again, if you've got any questions or you want some help with any of this, just comment below or you can visit our website, uh, which is highlifecampers.co.uk. I'll put the website just here on the screen. So you can come and visit our website anytime and just send us a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And we've also got a couple of guides which may be really useful to you. So we've got our VW Camper Buyer's Guide, where we go through the kind of process of buying a VW Camper. And then we've also got our Conversion Spec Guide, where we walk through in detail uh, both of our conversion packages. Uh, and we talk through all the, all the spec options and the colour options and all that kind of thing. So I'll put links to both of those guides in the description below this video. Uh, they're both free to download. So feel free to go and get a copy of those guides. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And if you've got value out of this video please consider hitting the like button and maybe sharing it with other people that might get value as well and i will see you in the next video take care